by T. Michelle Birdsong, daughter of the sun, Eve, mother of all living. I'm going to make comments about a video called Coronavirus Who Benefits. It's at the David Icke channel. He who benefits from the uh, crime is the one most likely to have committed it, said David Icke. He who benefits from the virus is the one most likely to have released it. The world is run by a global cult. It uh, has multiple faces in country after country after country. It absolutely controls China. China is its blueprint for the world, for the government of America, for Britain, etc. We're past the point where we're looking at classic fascism or classic Marxism. We've moved on into this technocracy, which was a plan all along. A technocracy is a society that is run and controlled by experts, scientists, and engineers, and bureaucrats. The European Union is a classic technocracy in terms of its bureaucratic control by unelected people. Note from Eve, elections can't be trusted anymore. It's full of voter fraud and corrupted voting machines. At least it's that way here in the United States. David Icke goes on to say, the target is democracy. A technocracy does not do elected people. It does appointed people. Note from Eve, the elected officials themselves appoint people to help run the government. We need the higher power to appoint our leaders. That's the only way we'll ever have the best leaders. The sun, the highest power, who provides us with light, heat, energy for food, in other words, life, has provided us with leaders. Jesus Christ the Buddha, his son, the son's son, being as Govinda Singh Dillon, that's Govinda Singh Dillon, that's a picture of him, the son's daughter, Eve, mother of all living, being as T. Michelle Birdsong, his other son, Adam, the first appointed king of the earth, he, um, he had dominion over all, now being as Michael Bublé. Now the leader, the daughters of Jesus Christ, Adam and T. Michelle, namely, uh, let's see, namely, Aria Elizabeth Michelle, yet unborn, still in the womb, and Melanie L. Spear, A1, St. Patrick, and Robin Michelle Birdsong has been as St. Francis of Assisi. Another leader, son, Jean, the son's, no, wait a minute, St. Francis, and Azura. Azura is Robin Michelle Birdsong, who has been a St. Francis of Assisi. These are Adam and Eve's daughters. Also leaders, the son's son, Giancarlo Arturo, is in the womb still. And Adam and Eve's third and perfect son, Prophet Elijah. Seth, now being as Will Smith, and another leader, Melanie L. Spears' children, more leaders, who have beings as saints, 
Shiv Dial Singh, now being Seth Wynn Ranziger, Baba Jamal Singh, Govinda Singh Projection, now being as Jindara Michelle Ranziger, Poet Saint Princess Mirabai, who has being as Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., now being as Lou Ranziger, and Saint Kabir as being as Hiawatha, now being as Ostara Gloria Turner, and the other members of the Holy Royal Family of true humans, good gods, geniuses, and saints, including Jesus Christ disciples. St. Matthew, now being as Dr. Oz. St. Mark, now being as Stephen Seagal. St. James the Great, now being as Father Tom, co-founder of St. Francis of Assisi Residences in Chelsea, Manhattan, New York. So that's Father Tom Walters. And then we have St. Andrew, now being as Jonathan, the social worker at St. Francis of Assisi Residence 3. St. Bartholomew now being as Chris, the program director at St. Francis of Assisi Residences. St. Philip now being as a resident at St. Francis of Assisi Residence 3. And another leader is St. Paul the Apostle, considered to be the most important person after Jesus in the history of Christianity, as being as televangelist and missionary and singer-songwriter, Dr. Mike Murdoch, Moses the most important prophet in Judaism, also an important prophet in Christianity, Islam, the Baha faith, and a number of other Abrahamic religions, as being as Pastor Joel Osteen. Abraham, father of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, now has been as Tommy Robinson, who recently won a Freedom of Speech Award in Denmark, about whom a petition is being circulated to win Pride of Britain Award for his efforts to save Britain from domination by radical Islamists determined to take over to dominate the world. Another leader is Guru Arjun, first Sikh guru to be murdered by Islamists because he would not abandon his Sikh faith and convert to Islam. He compiled the first Sikh scripture, the Adi Granath, later expanded to Guru Granath Sahib. Guru Arjun now has been as a grandson of the son Sing bird song. Leaders, the rest of the members of the Holy Royal Family at all. The Holy Royal Family are some of the most honorable, honest, and compassionate people who ever lived. Okay, back to David Icke. David Icke, in describing the technocracy, said democracy has to go. We're seeing more and more attacks on democracy. The elected officials are incompetent and corrupt. You are seeing big surveys from around the world saying the population are lo populations are losing faith in democracy. The Chinese techno technology are employing extreme measures uh, read the co coronavirus in terms of lockdowns, pulling people off the street. Then you've got the democratic world. They haven't responded in that extreme way, though that way is in Italy and Iran to an extent. And you can see a scenario of psychological manipulation in which China dealt with the virus quite successfully. That's how they want it to turn out, because of these authoritarian extremes where it wasn't sorted out in the West because of democratic concepts and responses. The Holy Royal Family leadership would be just as decisive, though humane compassion and compassionate. They are loving, considerate, and thoughtful people. 
David Icke said, and if this virus goes on expanding and heightened fear alongside it, then of course you're going to have to go on seeing a suspension of democracy more and more to meet with the virus. You can see this whole attack on democracy taking a step forward as a result of this virus, which I do not believe, says I, for one second occurred naturally. If this virus is circulating and it's as dangerous as they say, then of course steps need to be taken to mitigate. Those dra dra drastic measures become justifiable by government. So where did the virus come from? So the story says, David is now reading, the Chinese government is now requiring Chinese citizens to provide personal data, including apps on their smartphones. This is a smart grid that controls this thing very much more advanced in China. Based on their answers, the citizens give to these apps provided by the organization's algorithms will try to decide whether or not the person is likely to have coronavirus. So you can see more power all the time is being given to artificial intelligence. Note from Eve, with no feelings, no heart. The apps, David goes on reading, then assign a red, yellow, or green code to the person depending on their risk of having the virus. If you get a red code, you have to self-quarantine or be quarantined at a facility. And citizens can't lie because all the information they provide about travel is cross-checked with the government data and smartphone location data. Several provinces have social credit systems where people who lie as well as smoke or jaywalk or do anything the government doesn't want them to do lowers their social credit scores for which there are consequences and millions of Chinese people have been banned from flying and banned from train travel. Note, flying is so dangerous it should be banned, except for rulers and emergency medical personnel to risk it. David, I, it all rounds out, it's reading, I think, it all rounds out in a picture of Beijing increasing its mass surveillance. Surveillance can be weaponized to combat mass protests. Of course, gatherings of people are being banned in um, more and more countries. The technology is being used in over 300 cities. 10 million citizens have been accessed using smartphone apps. There uh, is little transparency on how Beijing collects the uh, data and what happens to it. Through data analysis, we have mastered the trajectory of everyone's whereabouts. If you have not reported truthfully, our system will find out. Uh, what am I, the data, what happens to our system will find out. Again, said David, we're back to this question. Who benefits? Looking at that situation in China, it's blatantly obvious. And it's playing out across the world outside of China, step by step. And you're going to hear people saying, oh, if only we dealt with it like China. It's part of the psychological manipulation that's happening. The more coronavirus situation unfolds, the more and more painfully obvious it is that this virus did not happen naturally, but has been created and circulated for reasons for justifying more and more control. 
eventually when the virus starts to fade its impact, many of these measures will not be rolled back. Okay, so there. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it um, awakens you to what's going on in the world uh, regarding this virus and the government's taking control and um, the alternative, the leadership provided by the sun who provides us with light, heat, energy for food. And he is the highest power. Okay, thank you. So.